Hello and welcome to another uh, tutorial here for the GTBS or GUBD's Tactical Battle System version 1.5. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and show you through uh, making a summon for your database. Uh, this uh, one of the features that was implemented back in the original GTBS but uh, due to the lack of tutorials and so on out there I decided to make a video for you. So uh, first off let's go ahead and start out uh, with uh, what we have in the demo. So first off we can see in the demo here we have the Gilther uh, person. They're just an actor as far as the database is concerned. So here it's uh, he is ID number 36 and then uh, for a skill we've gone ahead and set up for skill 100 that it should uh, it's called Gilther. So what we'll do is to go into the database and configure that skill in order to uh, be triggered uh, before I actually get to just that one last part there. But uh, Gilther here must be associated with the element type of summon. Uh, summon is the element number 17 and hence inside of the database here we set the summon element to 17. Uh, if you set it up as a different element, then you need to make sure that this number here is updated accordingly to the appropriate uh, number for that. All right, so uh, what we do then is go ahead and say in this uh, is summon method uh, as part of the weapon skill section uh, is we go ahead and read this out as what the skill ID is. It is skill 100 as we saw over here it is skill 100 that actually calls them so we want to make sure that that is when 100 or when whichever skill ID that you are trying to use as the summon and then it should return the ID of the actor which was 36 of Gilther so once that is set up then what we do is we uh, come back out here and we look at the summon classes now the summon classes is specifically when a summon is killed um, I need we have to have a method in order to say well this ID or this class or so on is associated with the summon and therefore uh, should follow down that particular thing I chose to use class for this so um, here we've got class ID of 14 so if the uh, Gilther uh, actor here has a class of 14 which we created a individual class for them um, then Gilther here can go ahead and perform his said skills and etc. So um, aside from that uh, the next part here is controllable so generally speaking when you call in a summon they're going to be neutrals um, however there is the ability here so that you can control them as well so here we can go ahead and say that control or the the summon with the ID of 36 is controllable so when they're summoned make sure that they are controllable uh, and then of course down here we've got instances allowed so this is a new feature to 1.5 which allows you to summon this particular creature more than once so here you can go ahead and set the particular number of instances in which actor ID 36 is allowed to be summoned um, so you can have two instances or you could have five instances or ten etc you can go ahead and play around with that to go ahead and get that to your liking um, and as far as that that's pretty much it as far as configuring and setting up a summon now the one last thing is that uh, generally speaking they're going to uh, require a little bit more range so here we've got uh, these are the IDs from uh, the XP demo but uh, here we can see that they would have uh, for skill ID number 100 that uh, the range is 1 and that uh, the field is 1 however in this instance it would need to be 0 although you can set it to 1 but it's only going to use the initial spot for it um, and then is it a line skill should it exclude the caster um, and so on that way there it prevents you from casting it on yourself uh, and then uh, a new feature in 1.5 is also range min which allows you to define a minimum range so I'm just going to go and set one so he can only be casted at a, a distance of one through three um, or we could set it two for three or whatever so if it's three for three then they have to be on that third tile away from you 
So uh, point being, uh, that's uh, how you set up your skill ranges. And then uh, down here is uh, the skill rating. This is part of the AI system. Probably shouldn't, I, I don't think I'm gonna really go over that one yet here, but um, uh, down here we've got the wait time for those skills. And here we've got skill wait uh, for ID 100. It should wait 100 um, units. 100 units is based upon the intelligence of the character. So the each rotation or each update that is received, the intelligence is minused from this particular wait time. And then once that wait time reaches zero, then the skill will trigger. So the higher this number, the uh, longer it takes to cast that. Uh, and then uh, again, it's based on intelligence on in that respect, even though you may have the skill, one person may cast it faster than another, even though they might have cast it essentially at the same time because one is more intelligent uh, to the other. And uh, that's it as far as the summon stuff. Uh, so hopefully uh, that explains uh, how to set up summons for you and uh, that uh, you'll be able to have an understanding of how that works. Okay, uh, thanks again. See you later.